if you've got one of these, you've probably already repainted it and you have it to what you like. But those of you who probably have also wondered if it's possible to take it apart completely and do something even more. Because you've probably seen some photos of the engine compartment completely painted and all decked out. And those look really, really awesome. So you're thinking, well, how do I get there? Well, that's one of the posts that most people are not sharing. So I'll share this with you. And if I did it wrong, well, then it's already too late. But if this does help you out, then I'm glad it does. So there are a few screws that you're going to have to remove. And they're actually on the other side. You'll see the screws. They're holding this part of the compartment here and back here. And there's one in the center. And then there's one behind the handlebars. You don't want to remove the one that's on top because that's not going to do anything for you. So you remove all the ones that are visible facing you. Once you remove those, it's still not going to come apart. It's still being held together by the glue that is on the spine back here and the glue that is underneath the seat. And now the best thing to do is obviously to use some heat. Now you're not going to be able to do this in hot water because you're not going to be able to put your hands in there for that long of a duration. It's got to be at a very high temperature, the highest that your hair dryer will actually emit. Uh, it's probably going to take maybe 10 minutes to heat it up enough to pry with a flathead screwdriver, just like you see here, and you'll pry a little bit underneath, then underneath on the other side, and you just work your way all the way along. Now, that's not the difficult part. The difficult part is you've got to work it while it is still hot, and that's where it's difficult to hold on to things. So this entire piece will become like gum. It's going to be so soft that you think you're going to tear it, and you can tear it if you're not careful. So you don't want to pull on these. If you're going to pull on anything, you'll wait till it cools down just a bit and then pull back on this and then reheat it. And of course, work your way all the way to the top. Once you have it done, and I've already done it, let me show you. I've already done the back piece too. I just want to share what it is it involves and entails. And is you got this spine right here that's going to be covered in glue. You don't want to cut this. You only want to clean the glue off. Now you're going to end up marring the surface on both sides of the tank. So you're going to have to sand it or use filler if you went too, dip, too deep. Um, so clean it up, but it is still not going to be separated because you still have one more screw underneath this seat compartment. Plus, the glue does seep down into the inside, so you're going to have to take a screwdriver, a flathead like this, and then pry open just a little and work your way up and uh, break it open like a clamshell. Same thing for the seat. There is glue on this point, on this point, and two strips along the back, and then this corner and this corner. Same thing. Heat it up, soften it up, work your way underneath. Now you're going to be able to soften this enough that you'll be able to pry it open like this when it's soft enough. And this is what you're going to be encountering. There's a rib here and there's a rib down here. And here's the glue spots. Those are the points of contact that you're going to have to worry about. There's nothing over here. You're going to have to clean this up and I still have to clean it up myself before gluing it. Now once you have it glued, you're going to have to clean the glue strips that are in the crevices here that are still holding it together. Use your Dremel to do that. Clean off the glue here that holds it and clean off the glue here. Once you have it um, completely separated, actually uh, cleaned up, there's one last screw in here, so don't forget that. Then you can part it open like a clamshell and you'll be able to remove that wheel. Now there is inside that wheel the axle or this little bar. This is a part of the wheel that you can see right here. So that's, I've already removed this one. But you can remove that, set it aside, and now you'll be able to take open the entire cycle. Now this will not come apart, simply because there are two screws right behind the ears, and you'll have to drum all those out and destroy it to be able to do anything. So the way it is right now, you can still work on it, paint it, uh, modify what you need, and it is still gonna be in uh, an easy um, piece to work on. 
So setting that aside, once you have this all set, then you can go back in and clean up any of the glue marks to be able to um, do your painting or modifying. So on the inside, you have three more screws and those, actually there's seven screws, and those seven screws, which you'll find here and here, are what are holding the uh, exhaust together, like right here. So you'll see the screws here, 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 and I believe there's one more right in here. Right, right here, I'm sorry. One, two, three. And once you remove those, then you'll be able to remove the actual exhaust. Now, there's also three screws over here. Actually, two screws, two here and the one that holds it from the wheel. So these two right here, are, you can remove if for any reason. And the reason I'm gonna remove it is because I'm going to install a sound chip or a um, small speaker for that sound chip because I want lights and sound on my motorcycle. So I will be hiding the rest of the wiring going inside and then uh, maybe that sound chip in here and the speaker over and the uh, exhaust and then running, running the wires through and running one wire out the bottom here for the uh, power, which is uh, going to be most likely a USB cable so that I can uh, either hook it up to a portable battery or even just hook it up to my computer and just... Uh, uh, enjoy watching the lights and the sound. So in any case, that's what I wanted to share with you. I will be able to uh, paint this later on and then put it back together. And I'll show you that process as well too. And of course the, uh, the painting process. It's gonna be a bit lengthy. So I'm gonna try to uh, advance the camera, uh, put it in time-lapse to make it a little bit shorter. And then uh, you'll see the uh, end product once it's finished with light and sound. So let's get started.